Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for DweeboVision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. It's me to go first. I have a tricky rack, a long way from a bingo. I've got the duplicate end that I'd like to sort out. And I've got a lot of high scoring tiles. I could play Chav, but that does retain two ends. I'm thinking about playing just Van because CH is quite a synergetic combination. And this doesn't give too much away. I draw the J, which is a good scoring tile. It doesn't go well with C and H. But I've got an O and an A for Joe and Joe or Jar. And I also have Hadge, but I would like to play off one of the O's. Just looking to see if any of my tiles go on the end of Van. Well, that gets taken anyway. Now, I can play Joe and Co. Do I have anything else? Well, I note that I have John on my rack, J-O-H-N. I can't see anywhere for that to play. Kegu only takes an S after it. My H can go after the U of Kegu, but I can't play the J. And I don't wish to hold on to the J. So what I can do is this. Not a great rack leave. But I'm not going to be in any trouble next go. Only 24 points. Can I do better? Well, I think this is the best I can do. Another rack with high scoring tiles. There may be eight letter bingos with this set, but I can't see any through the V or the A. I have an O and an A for going after the J, but I'm expecting my opponent to take that out. My P can go after K O. Vang takes nothing in front of it. My L can go after J-O. I don't have an E or an S or a blank, so I'd quite like to play off quite a few tiles with this rack if possible. So if my pen doesn't take out the J spot, I can play Chop, making Joe and Cop. That would score quite well. And my opponent's taking a while with their move, so he may be close to a bingo. Not many opportunities on this board at the moment. The S-hook for Kegu is primarily useful for bingos, as are the floating V and A of Vang. So my opponent's gone in the, end, the, in the only decent spot on the board. Non takes an A in front. What do I have in column 13 parallel to Non? I don't have anything which goes after Con, so any word I play would have to end with the tile that hooks Joe, which would be the L. So I could play Chow, keeping Pon. Not bad, 30 points. Just I'm just looking to see if I've got anything better in row C. Can't see anything. This is quite a tight move. Not providing many opportunities for my opponent. That looks much better. I have Pimento. Nowhere for it to play at the moment. Do I have a bingo through any of the floaters on this board? Emption is the anagram of Pimento, and that does play in column 14, making Joel. So I do have a bingo as the board stands. And also Pimento, column 11, making up next to the U of Kegu. Great. I am almost certainly bingoing. So, do I play Pimento or Emption? Either of them opens up triple word squares.
Is there an additional bingo I've overlooked? I'm not sure. Let me see what Emption scores. Eighty points. I think that's more than the pimento spot, so I'm going to go with this. And that's a good pickup. That looks close to a bingo. Do I actually have one? I have medalettes in row J through the T of Wart. Now through the N of Emption, I would have Dalesman and Leeds man, but both of those are blocked. But Medalette stays available. It doesn't get doubled. Now, is there a seven with this rack? And if there is, if, if there is and it ends in S, I could hook Emption or Wart. This looks a very bingoy rack. So I'm not sure about measled. That could be good. Well, I'm going to go with metalettes. The M gets tripled, which is good. Metalettes 69. And I draw the first blank. Fantastic. And this looks pretty bingo -y. I might have a bingo here. And I've got quite a few floaters to consider in medalettes. My opponent challenges. He or she loses five points. I have Bregmata through the M. That doesn't get doubled. Just looking at the other floaters. I would have Able Gate through an L or an E. So I've got Able Gate, or did have in column three. That's just been blocked. Bregmata's been blocked. My opponent's play is good, 43 points. I have Tea Bags and Swart. Fantastic. Does that play anywhere else? Yes, it does. Fantastic. What a great game. Tea bags, and this is going to be a big score. I hope this is good. It might not be. Tea bags, 92. Well, my bingo run ends. Pretty dramatically with two U's. I'm going to struggle to play off both U's in one go. My H can go after the U of Kegu. I've got a 170 point lead. Row L is quite hot underneath locks. My H or my Y can go underneath DO. So I could play yeah in that spot or hey, but that's keeping both U's. But it scores 40 points, which is good. Can I score anything similar? And get rid of a U. Now, that spot's been obstructed by my opponent significantly because neither of my high-scoring tiles goes after Adu. So, what to do with this rack? The priority is to play off certainly one of the U's, and I'd rather play the Y than the H because the Y is less bingo-y. So to start with, is there anywhere for Y, U? 
Yes, there is. Column 14. And that, that has merit because it takes out row O for bingos ending in S. So this is what I'm thinking of. 21 points. Pretty miserable. But the, the rack leaf's quite good. It's quite balanced. If I avoid duplicates, uh, this, this could be a bingo-y rack next go. Am I missing a better spot for YU? I note that if my Y snuck in here, NYS is good. RYU isn't, but could be part of a longer word. Anyway, I think YU is okay. I draw an S. I draw another Y. But now if I play YU somewhere else, I've got Shire, which is an excellent rack leave. Only 20 points for my opponent. Do I have a spot for YU? There's a real staircase at the top right of the board. Not many opportunities there. Joe takes a Y after it. But this rack is looking quite bingo-y, so I'm, I'm keen to maximise its bingo -iness. And although this board is quite tight, there is a really good bingo lane in row F for bingos ending in S. YU, 12 points, which is abject. Can I do better? Well, I'm not seeing anything better than this. And it's not giving any opportunities for my opponent. I don't think there's a seven here. But I've got a scoring tile in the H. And my H can go after the U of Kegu. But I'm going to struggle to score very much in that spot. I could play Hylai or Hylie, H I L I. 19 points, which keeps the score rolling along. I have got a good lead, 160 points. And a play of Highly would leave ERS, which is a good three letter rack leave. And turning over four tiles would increase my chances of drawing a blank compared to playing just HI somewhere. I note that column 11 is available for bingos beginning with H, but also bingos beginning with SH. I will be taking that bingo lane out, which is not a bad thing for me to do since I am ahead and my opponent really needs bingos to catch up. I have an I for going after tax and my S can go after a do. So I could play Siri, S-I-R-I-H. Forty-five points. Well, that's two-thirds of a bingo. That might be worth doing. And I'm retaining the E. Although I note there are a lot of E's unseen. Wow. Nice bingo by my opponent. Seventy points. I have a ninety-point lead. So another bingo by my opponent would make this game very close. My highly and spot has been blocked as well as Siri. I'm wondering about playing in column 12, hooking in Dorse. 
I can do that with an S or an E. So what I could do, well, I could play airs in this spot. Let me see what this scores. No L's in the bag, so I'm not going to be duplicating that. 42 points, which is good, and it's turning over five tiles. There's only 22 in the bag, so this is taking out nearly a quarter of the remaining tiles. The score is good. Is there a better play in this spot? I could play Relish. Which is going to score four fewer points and turn over one more tile. But I think the L, I think I'd rather have those four points and, and the L on my rack. I'm just wondering if there's a play which plays the L instead of the R. I'm not sure about Hiles, although I should be. I'm going to go with this. Not a good pickup at all. No high scoring tiles. And way too many vowels. Nice score by my opponent. I'm 100 points ahead, which is good. The swart hook is still available, but any bingo in that spot is only going to score face value, so 60, 70 points. 15 tiles in the bag. What to do? And I don't want to open the board up. I'd certainly like to deal with the duplicate eye. And, well, I have the U, but I note that the Q has not been played yet. Taxi only takes an S after it. I'm wondering if I can frustrate the swart hook. There's no S's in the bag, so the blank would have to be an S. Remaining tiles not particularly bingoy. But with very few scoring, or with no scoring tiles on my rack, I'm looking to use the scoring tiles on the board. And therefore I'm drawn to this V and W. But I can't see a, a way of using that and playing off an eye. I could place my I or my U between the H and the T. And I just can't see even a two letter play which works in that spot. The U can go in front of the T, but then I don't have anything to go. Between H and T. Seven minutes left. If I play underneath in Dorses and, para and parallel to it, I'll be opening up row N, which I don't want to do. I could play Chelly which sorts out the duplicates doesn't, and provides no hooks, only 14 points and only a two-tile turnover, which isn't good. I'm looking at the remaining vowel situation. I'm not going to draw another U. But keeping four vowels is pretty poor. I'm sure there's a better play than that. Maybe I should play underneath endorses. If my opponent then plays in row N, he'll be opening up row O. So I may be being too conservative here. So my E would have to go underneath the R. 
the plays I can see on my rack are a Jew, uh, Liu, L-I-E-U, or Ordile, but I can't see anywhere for those to play. Now, uh, Con takes an I in front. Does that work for me? So I could play AI in that spot, but that would be that would be poor. However, AI do, is taking out the Swart hook. What about LEI? That's a slightly better rack leave. Eleven points. It's taking out the Swart hook. Although Lai has front hooks, these don't include an S. I am opening up column 8 for a nice score. But I think I have spent long enough struggling with this rack. I have audited. Nowhere to play it at the moment. Let me see what my opponent does. He may well play down from column 8 and provide some floaters, but I cannot see an 8 with this rack as it stands. Only 12 tiles in the bag. Q and the Z still to come. Wow. What's my opponent done? OI 14 G 13. Okay, played down here. I'm a bit surprised by that. I, I note that the Z is unplayed, so there was a possibility for a big score down here. That's now gone. So I could play dated or dighted. That's quite attractive. I'm retaining the you in case I draw the Q. In fact, I'll play uh, dated to keep the I because that goes better with the Q. 30 points, that's a good score. And I draw the blank and three clunky high scoring tiles, but I'm now 130 points ahead. So I'm in a very strong position. Only five tiles in the bag. I probably don't have time to sort this rack out and bingo. Two tiles in the bag. Wow. I don't think my opponent can bingo with this, with the remaining tiles. So I'm 120 points ahead. What can I do with this rack? How can I score with any of my high scoring tiles? Well, I could play Jow here, leaving one in the bag, 18 points. I have both in. With the blank as an A. Do I have a bingo in row A, ending with the D? I have the un and uni prefix. I don't think unfibred is good. There's also the floating T of dated. Let me see if anything leaps into my mind. That that's both in. Haven't seen anything else yet. B and the F don't go very well together. 
so it's possible Bowfin is the only bingo. Bluefin. That looks a pretty good set. Nowhere for Bluefin to play. I have three minutes left. My opponent's played the queue. I can now see the remaining tiles. Not great for my opponent. And I'm really going through the alphabet with this D in mind, although I'm also considering the T. That would be the unfibered rack. But I don't think that's good. I'm not going to try it. That gives me sub as a prefix. Okay, well, I have looked for a bingo. I've not found one. What I'm now looking to do is go out in two. And I've got the blank to use as an S, so I could play fubs and taxis. That would leave E I N. Which only makes nigh. One minute left on my clock. So let me have a look at Fubs. Twenty seven points, which is okay. Now, do I have two spots for going out? I have Dine, I have Rain. I have Sane and I think Nide is good, N-I-E-D, well, that might be N-Y-E-D I'm confusing it with. Fubs doesn't feel great, but it certainly guarantees the win. Uh, I'm giving my opponent Fez. But if he plays fairs, I can go out with Zine. And I think I'm running low on time. So my opponent could well play fairs. Yeah. Nine minutes on my opponent's clock. No minutes left on mine. But I have a big lead. Okay, my opponent didn't spot that. Says doesn't help me. So I've got Dine. There may well be much better plays. I'm out of time though. So Dine for six. Just wait for my opponent to formally end the game. Which they do. And the final score, 345 to my opponent, 492 to me. So a massive, massive win, 150 odd points or a little under that. Let's see what I missed. It was me to go first. Wow, Havoc. I didn't see that, but it retains two ends, which I don't like. I did think about playing Chav, which also retains two ends. Certainly Havoc would have been the better of those two plays. But I prefer my play, even though it is scoring 20 points less. It's retaining a good rack leave, and it's providing very uh, little uh, for my opponent. In particular, it's denying him access to all of these double word squares. This was my opponent's rack. He played Kegu. And this was my rack. I didn't see K John at C11. Ah, well, that would have been good. Using all those tiles on my rack. I also didn't see Joko on my rack. I played Joe for 24. Well, I think K John and Joko both better plays. My opponent's rack. I played Non. And this was my rack. 
Phonal is playable, making Anon for 34. I played Chow for 30, keeping Knock. I don't think there's much difference between those plays. My opponent's rack. And this is the first of my bingos. I played Emption for 80. I saw Pimento. I didn't see Pentomic or Impotent, but Emption was the best play. My opponent's rack. They played Trips, and I had Medalettes. What else did I have? Well, Measled was good, and I should have known that. And more significantly, it was playable as a double-double, making warts for 98. A massive score. So Medalettes are significantly inferior. Well done if you spotted that double-double play. My opponent's rack. They played Locks. And I had another bingo. I had tea bags for 92. And there were other bingos available. My opponent's rack, that looks pretty good. Is there a bingo here? Costards, 08, difficult to spot. And missed. Now, this was my rack, my bingo run ended. Huey, M14. Ah, uh, yeah, that would have been quite a good play. Well, three more points, but it's retaining the Y rather than the H, so there's not a huge amount between those. My opponent's rack, that looks close to a bingo, but nothing doing. And this was my rack. Uh, who for 33 looks pretty good. L13. Down here, making rear and hug. I didn't see that. What did I do? I played U for 12. Well, I think, well, certainly Rai and uh, who certainly... A lot better than that. A lot better than my play. Nice bingo by my opponent. Endorse for 70. A couple of other bingos available. And this was my rack. And Hiles was good. But it seemed foolish to, to risk a word I wasn't sure of when I had 42 points available for airs. My opponent's rack. I played Freena. And this was a rack I struggled with. Way too many vowels and very hard to sort out. Aid for 19. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I like that across here. It's a decent score. It's not a bad rack leave and it's not providing an easy opportunity for my opponent. But you can see looking down these rack leaves and scores that this is a really problematic rack. I played lie. This was my opponent's rack. Pretty awful. And this is my audited rack, which I couldn't play. And I was wondering whether to play dated or dighted. Probably not much between those. This is my opponent's rack. Well, if my T had been a little higher, they would have had a Jai right. I don't think they, there is a bingo here. No. So my opponent played Aria. There are two tiles in the bag. This was my rack. I played off just the W, which is the top play here. And I think that's fine. My opponent's rack. I played the Q. And now, did I have a bingo on my last rack? No, I did not. So, unfibered, not good. And I played Fubs for 27. I could have got six more points. And eight points, including count back by playing sub fear at 08. Across onto this U. That would have been very nice. I didn't spot that. But it didn't matter. Fubs was more than enough to win. This was my opponent's rack. They played Says, and finally, well, only for 12 was the only play better than my play of Dine. And that was the end of the game. So, um, big, big score, 492 points, always good to score in the region of 500, and a big winning spread, and quite a few bingos in that game. Mistakes as always, but that always happens, and it's good to learn um, from them. So I hope you enjoyed watching that video and got something out of it. My name is David Webb, and this has been a video for Dweebovision.